tune you into some of the things on my website that absolutely excite me, thinking that you'll get excited, and there's nothing like getting excited together. So the first thing I want to point you at is Kabir Helminski, and my post on him in my blog is called Wanted, Enlightened Voices. When I stumbled across this video, I was just transfixed tuning myself in to a more authentic place because he was in such an authentic place. All I had to do was listen to a couple sentences and it changed me. So what do you think? Have a listen. How much does the average person give thought to blessing or holiness? How much is that a part of our lives in the modern world? And yet it is from a certain point of view, you could say it's perhaps as important as anything in life. To live a life that is blessed, to live a life that is, is holy. And when I say holy, I don't mean some cliche, you know, of holiness and, and uh, some sentimental uh, picture of holiness. I mean something that's really authentic and real. And we would never call ourselves holy. Uh, but the word is profound. It's, it has to do with the sacred. It has to do with being in touch with what is sacred in life. And so next I want you to have a look at a spiritual teacher named Ramana. He lived with me on and off when he was in L.A. years ago, doing something called Radical Awakening. Never take another workshop to find yourself again. And I actually connected, thanks to him and work I did with him, with this primal place in myself that I can go back to at will. So he's another one that you just listen to him and there you are in a different place. See, see if that isn't true for you. Of course, now in the new age, it's kind of like everyone kind of takes it as understood now, right? That there is this larger collective consciousness that could be tapped into. But the jump that we're going to make here is what if that larger collective consciousness is who you really are? What if that were your true self? There was something primal about Lex Hickson also, about the connection he had to something underneath everything superficial. He actually was a practitioner of five different religions. He loved them all. He didn't want them to be merged. And he was absolutely a magnet to everyone that he touched. Everyone fell under Lex's spell. See if you don't as well. If, 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 the, if the self with a capital S no, it, it does, is all beings, then you are, you know, if you want it for yourself, you, you automatically want it for, for all beings. There are many different ways of saying it. The, the way the Sufis say it is that the, the Sufi refu refuses to enter paradise until all beings have entered paradise. So therefore... Well, I have this idea, I called the original post on my site, Wanted Enlightened Voices, that if we actually deliver to the world people like this, if we make them very popular, if we get them in front of, you know, many, many people, people will be affected by that. We need things to change the basic consciousness that this world is operating on. And I just have this idea that maybe it could be this way. So would you send me anybody that you are so touched by, as I'm touched by the ones you just saw, and I hope you are too, send me yours. And we'll do a real number on it, getting these things out into the public eye.